first step of logistic regression. We look at, here's uh, another write-up, logistic regression analysis to investigate if there was a relationship between age and retirement planning was conducted. The predictor variable age was tested a priori to verify there was no violation of the assumption of the linearity of the logit. And for those doing logistic regression, that is one of the assumptions. So we, we bring that forward. The predictor variable age in the logistic regression analysis was found to contribute to the model, and the model is also a mathematical model. The unstandardized beta weight for the constant, and that's part of the output of SPSS. We get our point estimate, beta is equal to negative 2.503. We've got a standard error. We have a Wald statistic. The Wald statistic is similar to the t-score and the f-distribution. The Wald statistic directly relates to the p-value, is how the p-value is actually predicted. Right? We see that the Wald statistic is 21.948. We've got our p-value less than 0 0.001. And then here's our interpretation, the unstandardized beta weight for the predictor variable, beta equals 0.296. Standard error, walled less than 0 0.001. The estimated odds ratio favors an increase, and this is our interpretation, favors an increase of nearly 35%, where the exponentiated beta equals 1.345, which is our point estimate. And then we've got our population estimate, 95% confidence interval range for retirement planning for every one unit increase in age. And that last sentence is really our interpretation. Now, for those of you listening, if you're not familiar with logistic regression, please don't, don't get hung up on what this interpretation actually means. What I'm showing here is really the components that were included. So, included in the actual write-up. For those of you doing simple logistic regression, you may recognize these and say, oh yeah, I, I understand and I get it. But for those who are not familiar with logistic regression, like I said, don't don't get too hung up on, you know, what what does this interpretation actually mean? But these are just to individual components that you can see based on a variety of different statistical tests what to really include. Mm -hmm.